The 22 long was introduced in 1871 and was expected to be a natural progression from the 22 CB to the 22 short and beyond. To improve the performance of the 22 short, the case was lengthened and the powder charge boosted while retaining the 29 grain bullet of the 22 short. For 15 years, the 22 long was the most powerful 22 rimfire cartridge. It was later supplanted by the 22 long rifle, which fired a heavier bullet and was propelled by a more powerful charge, quickly making the 22 long an orphan. The 22 long was louder than the 22 short, yet less powerful than the 22 LR. So what was the 22 long offering to shooters? Perhaps it was meant to be a compromise, a best of both worlds cartridge. Unfortunately, according to shooting icon Jack O'Connor, the 22 long was a pretty useless contraption. With a speed of about 1,040 feet per second and a muzzle energy of about 67 foot pounds, the 22 long pales in comparison to the 22 LR, which in some cases has triple the foot pounds. Now, while this may paint a discouraging picture, the 22 long has been popular enough for Winchester and CCI to continue producing ammunition in sufficient amounts, also making it relatively easy to find. Firearms chambered specifically for the 22 long have not been regularly produced for nearly 50 years, but some rifles shoot the 22 short, 22 long, and 22 long rifle. As firearms that were made just for the 22 long become antiques and are solely display models or safe queens, the ongoing production of these cartridges remains questionable. Check out today's best ammo deals by visiting us at ammo.com. Follow us on social media. And most importantly, be sure to subscribe to our channel right here on YouTube for more high-quality videos to help you stay armed both physically and philosophically.